Good morning. So I've just finished editing our latest video as well as giving it the final watch to make sure it's all okay and then we can upload it for you guys. Oh no no, I've been working hard away editing this morning so yeah that's why you see me at this computer. Um, but now that I've finished doing that, uh, I need to try and fix our water setup. Our water system is so bodge job and bad. Uh, but recently, it's held together all with gaffer tape and recently the gaffer tape has come loose um, so we kind of need to re-stick it on to stop it leaking. Gaffer tape in Norway is almost like £8, £9 for a roll, which is just crazy. But we got some, We're gonna. I'm going to give it a quick bodge job fix. And there you go, that's my DIY plumbing. <laughs> Should hold for another couple of months, hopefully. So the wind's died down a bit from last night. Um, the main reason we camped here is really to try and let the wind die down so we could film on the Atlantic Ocean Road. It's still fairly windy. I'm not sure if I'm going to risk it yet or not. Hi, so, morning so everyone. We are about to take on a big road today, a very, very beautiful road. The van's all clean, ready to go. Oh, there's a little like scary to toy doll in the tree. Yeah. So I've decided to drive us along the Atlantic Ocean Road. We're actually just fixing a GoPro on the front of the van. We've never done it before, we're a bit nervous. <laughs> really mental, it just goes like a big, like a roller coaster. At the ocean road um we tried to park in a spot before but it was quite busy and i freaked out i cried um i got really stressed so yeah we've moved on from that spot and now we're at another spot where it was still quite busy um but we managed to park i guess because it's the bank holiday it's really busy here and um we're just wondering now whether to fly the drone because it's it is very windy we really want to get a drone shot lovely drone safe flight so flight Berber. Oh god. It's very windy. We're risking it for these shots because this is the kind of road where it's not really impressive unless you see it from the air. Well done little droney. Ooh. Well done. How oh, was that? Scary. That was really scary. This is pretty windy. Uh, well done, proud of you for flying that drone safely. Oh. Let's go to the end. Hey Tom, what do you think of the ocean road? I mean, you need a drone to appreciate it. It's like a nice road, but once you've got a drone, like those shots are, it looks amazing from the sky. Do you want me to go um, no, drive back? No, I don't want you going anywhere near the fucking space. Cry, baby. <laughs> There's these boardwalks all around this little island midway through uh, the ocean road and we just stopped off had a little nice walk around and the weather's pretty nice today but there is a really cold wind it's freezing we're 
we're just waiting for our ferry now. So yeah, Norway, to get across all of the water and the coast, there's lots of little islands that you're crossing across. You either go through a tunnel, go over a bridge or get a ferry. So we are waiting for our ferry now. They're regular every half an hour. All of the ferries have like little cafe areas. We'll go and explore one now. made a sandwich in record making sandwich time. Record sandwich making time. I've just made a sandwich in about 30 seconds and I've got poppy seeds all over my seat now. They are cheese sandwich, apple, save time on the road. Guys, another bit of conversation that gets cut out of these videos. What we're listening to on these journeys, let me tell you. Well, thanks to Surfshark, we use BBC Sounds, so we are listening to a thorough examination with Dr. Chris and Zand about uh, identical twins. One of them is clinically obese, one of them's not, and they're talking about food addiction. Um, the other one we listen to at the moment is Mort by Terry Pratchett. And we also listen to Game of Thrones audiobook when we don't have signal. We like a bit of uh, life changing with Jane Garvey all our recommendations, but we, we welcome other podcast recommendations. We love. Um, what do we love about the food one? Off Menu by James A. Custer and Ed Gamble. So yeah, comment down below your podcast recommendation. Oi, 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 oi. We've arrived at our little spot for lunch and Tom's gonna have a break and yeah. I'm gonna make us up some wraps and veg and rice. So just whipped up that lunch. It's really sunny today, so we're gonna go and eat this by the lake. We are only stopping here for a short bit, eating a bit of food, and we're gonna drive for another couple of hours and make a little bit more progress. There's a little bit of a thrill in the fact that we're like making miles, we're getting making some distance and it's all a bit exciting and new. So we did about one more hour of driving and now we're here. This is our least scenic park up since we've been in Norway. And it really is just a stopover. We are at the start of this road that the BBC describe as the most beautiful uh, coastal road in the world, which I think it will have some beating of the Wild Atlantic Way to do. But um, we're excited to start that tomorrow. So guys, we've got a fun activity planned. We're gonna both write down our top three best and worst things about our van. And we're not gonna tell each other, we're not gonna talk, and we're gonna reveal them on camera to each other in front of you guys. Hmm. I've only got one of each so far. I'm so interested to hear what Tom's are. I feel like we're gonna be really different. Also guys, it's 9 p.m. and look how sunny it is. It's so hard to go to bed when it's this sunny. Okay, should we reveal? What's your top worst thing about our van? Our van. Uh, so my first thing is all of our USB sockets are broken. <laughs> so oh. I think like they were, we tried plugging in the USBs upside down or I don't know what's happened. Not but blaming anyone. <laughs> not blaming anyone, but all of the USB sockets are broken. We have four USB sockets and every single one is broken. And that is very annoying. Uh, my worst thing is no shower. I would like to have a shower if we could. I, I, f I feel a bit gross quite a lot of the time living in the van. I think that's the one thing that's stopping me from feeling like a normal person. <laughs> we've got a toilet, we've got running water, we've got everything else we need, but a shower for me, I miss a shower. Yeah, I mean, that should be on my list. That is like num that is the most annoying thing. <laughs> so then my next one is, so it's just general lack of storage, but then also the area, on, like this kitchen unit, the area under there. Like, because it's just one big space, things tend to get a bit piled in. 
and there's like two crates on top of each other and you have to lift one up and I, uh, I just hate that all of that so that's so funny because that's my second one too i said no drawers in the kitchen and then yeah. in brackets pan rage because i get really angry when i'm in those cupboards when i'm trying to get cooking and then i've got to get the food from the bottom one and then the pans on the top and they're all stacked on each other and it makes me a bit angry. I know it's really small and it shouldn't make me angry, but it would be so nice to have drawers. That is something we could fix quite easy. We should do that. My next one is stuff hanging up. So um, <laughs> whenever we like drying stuff or like, or just you take something off and things that are just hanging everywhere. There's just stuff hanging in the van and that really annoys me. I hate stuff hanging everywhere. And my worst thing, which is kind of one of the best things as well, but. So it's not having any space to chill and like chill out. If one person wants to be working and, and you want to be in bed, you can't do that because we've got a, a non-fixed bed. So it turns into a sofa or a bed. So say if Tom's editing and I just want to like lie down and watch TV, <laughs> you, we can't. We've got to both either be at the sofa or both be in bed. Saying that, I wouldn't change our non-fixed bed. I really like the fact it's our, it's one of the worst and best things because I really like how it gives us space. But I do feel frustrated when I just want to like, you know, like lie down on a really comfy sofa and spoil your legs out and you can't. That's what I struggle with being in the van. So that's why I go into the cab servitory quite a lot. <laughs> so now we're going on to our best ones. Weirdly, mine are all like electrical ones. I thought that might be the um, case. But also they are all things we've improved. So. They are all things that I've experienced what it's like having a bad version of it and then we've improved it and now it's one of my favourite features. First one is the fridge. Um, when we were in Spain, we went out and we had like an electric cool box and it used so much power and it was so loud all the time and nothing was cold and it was a nightmare. I hated it. And now this fridge works really quiet, really efficient. We don't even think about it. Okay, cool. My best thing is... I feel like it kind of incorporates the fridge, but it's the fact that we've got a big kitchen. Some vans have really small kitchens and tiny sinks, or you have to crouch down, but I really like the way ours is at my height, so it's really nice to be able to chop and cook and not be crouched over. And it's big, so we've got a massive sink and quite a lot of surface space and two hobs. So yeah, big kitchen for me is a big plus. My next one is the electrical setup. So when we first, we lived in the van we had like lead acid batteries and we were i was always under the bed always fiddling always trying to rewire stuff always and like we just had so many issues with it and we're now at a point where you don't even think about it we're using computers charging stuff all the time and we never even look at our electrical setup it's so nice to not have to worry i think since we got that battery, uh, battery, battery to battery yeah. charger it's helped so much the lithium batteries are well, they were a real big step up that was a huge step so up. worth the extra money yeah, yeah. okay we'll leave a link to the amazon so my second favorite thing is the computer that tom's just installed i really like it and i was it's it's on par with the projector because i really used to love that projector but actually since we've had that computer I, I really like watching tv on it because you don't have to get out the projector you can just like sit in bed fold it out and um i mean i'm not even the one that's using it to work on but i really like it for that ease for for like entertainment watching tv on it cool so my best one is the desk area slash computer <laughs> so yeah the computer has really changed a lot so particularly with making these videos the old laptop we would never have been able to do daily videos on this computer is just so much better in every single way so it's more efficient so it uses less power it's just like faster we don't have to like transcode all our stuff into like low-res files so i'm editing on that computer maybe like four hours a day every day at least uh so it's got a lot of use and i'm so glad we have a nice a nice space to sit as well it's not just like the computer it's actually like the desk area is nice and mm. uh, it makes a big difference yeah okay and then my final thing is that uh, is spacious and mineral <laughs> mineral <laughs> it's spacious and minimal so you, i can you can fully stand up so can tom that is just for me i wouldn't be able to live in a van if, if i couldn't stand up yeah i know but like also if you're cooking i can be on the computer completely out of the way and it's like i know it's not the two different places but uh, we're not in each other's way we're mm. in like um, got our own space. We have got our own space, yeah. Cool, well, that's fun. And we are going to head head off now, so we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night, and we're about to start an amazing coastal road. I can't believe it. Like.
We've just left Fjord Country and now we're starting one of the most beautiful coastal road trips ever. So cited by amazing. the BBC a week ago. Woo! Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. I really don't want to have to laugh because I thought this is so cliche, but it's making me laugh. Yeah. <laughs>